in the summer of 1981, when I was 18 years old, a friend and I traveled to Europe. We did a lot of sightseeing, but um, in July and August, we took part in a number of orienteering competitions in different countries, including Norway, Sweden, and Scotland. So uh, this video is about an article that was written in a local newspaper about our experiences. So here it is. The title of the article is Local Pair Travel to Scandinavia. And it reads, Mark McMillan of North Delta and Pat Birding of Surrey returned from three months of traveling in Europe with a great deal more experience in orienteering than when they left. This experience paid off in the Canadian Championships held recently in Kamloops and Macmillan took first place in his category. The pair spent six weeks of their three-month European tour competing in orienteering meets in Sweden and Denmark including the O-Ringen meet in the Helsingland province of Sweden, in which 21,000 people from all over the world competed. The event lasted five days. Orienteering is Sweden's second national sport behind soccer, and Birding stated, We realized how far we have to go. Macmillan added, The kids there grow up with it. Both members of the Orienteering Association of BC claim the concentrated training in Scandinavia really improved them. Close to 300 competitors showed up for the two-day Canadian meet, with Macmillan and Birding competing in the H class, which is men's 19 and 20 years old. There were 26 classes in all. The H 19 to 20 class having 10 competitors. Macmillan took top spot in the, in the category. Ontario won the Canadians with 9 points while Quebec was second with 5 points. BC, Nova Scotia and New Brunswick tied for third with 1 point each. The compass is the major tool used in orienteering as the competitors have to find their way between checkpoints. It doesn't matter which route they take to get to the checkpoint as long as they get there and hit the checkpoints in the right order. They navigate their own route by using the compass and contour maps. The competitor who reaches all the checkpoints in the fastest time is the winner. Both the local orienteers are 1980 graduates of Princess Margaret High School in Surrey. They worked last year in order to finance their trip to Europe but will be attending the University of British Columbia this year. The sport will be recognized this year at the BC Summer Games being held this weekend. After the Games, the two will compete at the Pacific Northwest Orienteering Festival to be held in the Cascade Mountains of Washington in October 1981. Anyone wishing to get involved in orienteering or wishing more information can get in touch with Pat Birding at Five nine four six seven three zero, and that's the end of the article.